Hey folks, how are you doing? Welcome back. It is Masked Charlie. It is Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. Day a bazillion of the madness. <clears throat> okay, I'm I'm away from from someone right now, from people. <clears throat> hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back. It's Charlie. <sighs> it is definitely Thursday. It's a beautiful afternoon. It is um today is the first day of uh, kind of a heat advisory. We are actually supposed to be getting in some places in Los Angeles 90 degrees. Currently right now in this area it's 80 degrees. It's it's extremely wonderful. It's a beautiful beautiful day. To come out here you wouldn't think that we have so many problems but it is. It is definitely a gorgeous day. It's just spectacular. It's definitely a day to be out and about uh, if we could, if we could, you know, join others, you know, this would be, oh, goodness, this would certainly be uh, a fantastic time to do a lot of stuff. But as it is, you can only do things right now, oh, crap, with your, I just got my mask dirty, all right, hold on a second. Great, I just spilled coffee on my mask. Now I gotta get a new one. Ugh, these inconveniences. Well, I guess it's been kind of a, uh, eh, society's been kind of temperamental. I know it's been temperamental around uh, in my household. The, uh, the one roommate has been really acting up for the past few nights. Jesus Christ, she's she's been really terrible. She's been going on these tirades for like an hour, hour plus at times, <clears throat> just freaking out, going around the house, slamming things, yelling, and just yelling, oh, the coronavirus, and just uh, excuse for the language, but she's just, and she's calling everyone like the N-word, and she's like, Corona mo coronavirus motherfuckers, y'all need to be doing, and, and the thing is, she doesn't really do anything, she goes out once in a while, um, if not, if she's home all day, all she's doing is eating and cooking, and and I, I, I just, I don't, I don't know, but the past three nights, not consecutive, but uh, this last week has been really brutal, and she just, and like my one roommate, he's been gone for about a month, he, uh, post-surgery, he had an infection, so he had to stay uh, like in a nursing home or recovery or whatever. And he's been back for a couple of weeks and stuff. And then she goes on like, y'all motherfuckers don't even know about this old man. And you don't, you don't care. And like, she has no clue. She's so busy and wound up. And, uh, she's definitely been drinking. And uh, the other stuff, I don't, I don't know now if she's like really, really major bipolar or uh, she's, well, she's definitely probably doing meth. But, oh my gosh, she's just, I don't know where in the world she is coming from, and she's just making, oh God, this lady is definitely not suited for, for this household, um, that's for certain, she, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man, she's just, I don't know if it's the pressures of this or, or of all this. I, I was trying to give her the benefit of the doubt, but, and, and like the other night, she was just like slurring her words really bad, and, and she keeps repeating, and then she's bringing up stuff again, like, like, oh, you, you motherfuckers, oh, can't, I can't even bring my son, everybody keeps complaining and calling about my son being here, and it's like, wow, that's, how long ago was this incident, or is this still going on, or or what? Oh my God, she's making. You know what? It is actually so bad because the other gentleman in the front now, because she's complaining about 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 the bathroom or whatever. Now we have two bathrooms. I only use the bathroom in the back. That's where my other roommate and I uh, we live in the back part of the house, and that's the bathroom I maintain. 
uh, when I take a shower or whatever, I, I clean out the shower, I spray my, my, uh, my bathroom cleaner and I rinse it down and stuff like that, but I don't use the toilet, I don't use the sink. I brush my teeth in the sink or, or in the, I mean in the shower or I brush my teeth in our sink in our, in our back bed. and she's all <clears throat> and I know because she's so racist you know she 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 literally like the other night she stood in front of my door and I could hear her you know she, and she's she's wanting me to be the servant she wants me to she wants me and has so many <sighs> In a lot of words, she wants me to basically clean the house and, and uh, uh, clean the kitchen. And she wants me to do, and it's like, whoa, lady, you are just so freaking racist. I can't stand this person. She's just, she is just above anything else. She is so racist. And she has the, the audacity to be so, I don't know. And it, it, she's, she's, think, she's throwing out stuff like that. This is God's house and all this, and and God don't like, don't like what what, what what's going on, and don't don't like what you guys are doing, and and not helping. Out. And she's just, holy cow, man! This lady is just not making any sense. She's talking in a circle. She's, she keeps repeating herself while she's going on this tirade. And the other thing now is like when she comes back, or if it's in the evening, and she goes in the room. Hey, motherfuckers, get out of my room. I can tell you guys have been in my room. Now, now the thing is, as I said, there is a door between her, her room and my room have are joined by, by a door and it's closed. And luckily, thank God, the locks are on my side. There's a deadbolt and then there's just a regular uh, lock on the, on the doorknob. And I have them both uh, locked because I have a lot of stuff. And I was always afraid that she would probably come in if... Or whatever I just didn't trust her and I'm all and I'm so glad too because yeah she's just not she's just not all there just very very interesting so and now she said now she's accusing of, of while she's gone of people coming into her room and moving stuff around she's like how do I know that there's no cameras in here y'all motherfuckers are just checking in my messing my shit up and I'm like holy cow this how oh. On top of all this, I, I I have this to contend to, and it wouldn't be so bad. But the problem is that her room is just right on the other side of the wall of my wall, so I have to hear her cry. And this morning, some someone came around five o'clock in the morning and was like knocking. I think it was knocking or rapping, yeah, just rapping on her window for a good minute, and she and she went what. What motherfucker? And she's just like, oh crap, I'm, uh, man, she's just in a bad mood. And she's throwing the N-word, ah, that's right, she calls us all N's and stuff like that. Especially me, she's always calling me an N. <clears throat> and she's all, who's out there? Motherfucking N, oh, fuck you. And she had, she had the TV on, she sleeps on with the TV on all night, quite loudly as a matter of fact. But it's no big deal. So she's over there, and then she, for about like three minutes, she's like, stop knocking, blah, blah, blah. And then she, like an incoherent person on something, she turns the TV off, and then she tries to be all quiet, and this person is still rapping on the window for about five minutes now. And finally, who are you? What? Stop Stop doing that. Stop knocking on the window, motherfucker. And I'm like, oh, my God. So finally, I think she got up and left with this person. And they came back and started her tirade again this this morning after a couple of hours. She was gone. And then she left actually about 20 minutes before I, I left the house. Thank God. But then there's tonight to come home to. I'm so sick of this crap. <clears throat> I... I you know what? If it if it meant peace and quiet this very second, I'd rather have her have her get my spot and getting a house and just get the heck out of here. She's just it's miserable. I really hate coming home to this place now. I I just 
I, I, I can't stand it. I, I'm, I'm losing my shit. I, I, this lady is just plumb nuts. She's just nuts. I mean, I don't know. The only good thing is, on the happy side of all this, is that I've gotten to enjoy my time with my daughter. She's, uh, wow, this, out of all this madness, out of all this tragedy, at least something really good and positive has happened. And the ex-wife and I, we've been, we've been taking our time and talking and stuff like that. And uh, we're working things out for the better, definitely for our, for our daughter, for our daughter's sake. And it's honestly, um, it is really, really nice. It's comforting. It's reassuring that I'm actually getting to talk to an ex-spouse calmly, humanly. I, I, I never honestly, after Carrie, after Carrie, and just let alone with all this, but after Carrie, I never thought this was going to be possible with any of my two ex-spouses, honestly, you know, and, and that's not being mean, that's just being totally honest, you know, I just because of everything that happened and... You know, five years being homeless and not a word, you know, other than, you know, seeing my daughter for a couple times and then that was it. But, you know, I just, I never really thought, I thought this was, this was going to be it for the, for the immediate future at least. But, you know, no, definitely, no, we've been taking our, we've been, we've been talking and stuff and she's been feeling up, uh, catching me up on speed on, on my daughter and everything and. The good stuff and the not so good stuff, and uh, health wise and education, everything. So, yeah, it's 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 that's been really that's been really cool. That's that's been a blessing. That's that that. Aside from all this that's going on and the freaking roommate freaking out, jeez, I don't want to go. I'd almost I'd almost want to go check into a motel for for a month if I could afford it. Honestly, it, it's just, I'd rather go back to motels because this lady is just, damn. And then this morning I went to go get creamer for my coffee and, and I didn't hear her, but she was in the kitchen. She was cooking. And, I was, and as I was coming out of my room and turned up the hallway, I could hear her and I'm like, oh fuck, please don't. And I see her and I'm like, crap. See, she, here's the thing. She doesn't, she didn't say anything. She didn't. Now would have been the perfect time to confront or say something, or to get off her chest or say something that's been bothered. But no, nothing. Not a freaking thing. So I don't. I don't know what is really going on. I don't even know if she's. I don't know if she's aware of what's going on, what she's doing. But damn it, she's definitely what she's doing. She's inebriated in some way or fashion or another of all this other crap. But on well, that, screw it. I'm, I'm getting to know my daughter and see my daughter and hopefully the next phase will you know we'll get to be together and we'll get to see each other so we're working on a lot of things and you know it's just it's just taking our time it's everything's gonna have to be slowly progressing now because of all this there's only so many things that you know now we, we can't really do it's not like I could you know hop on a plane or take a bus or you know take a train and and you know, go and visit and stuff like that, but, uh, so yeah, things are going to have to, well, we're just going to have to progress as, as the way things are in society now, so, uh, yeah, that's about it, <laughs> that's about it for all this, this hair crap, this stupidness, both at home and out here that's going on. Oh, God. I don't know what's worse. No, the home life is definitely worse. Yeah, the home situation is worse than, than all this uh, madness that's going on because that's where I live. And Oh, my goodness. It's just the hypocrisy that she just... Oh, wow. It's just... I don't know. It's, I just, it's just, it's, it's difficult. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. All right, folks, I'm going to let you go here. I'm going to 
go sit down, have my coffee, and see what's up. Things are getting uh, changing here. The states are opening up a little bit more. Things are a little bit more relaxed. Uh, we we have a banner uh, across our front store that basically says uh, you have, by LA County and everything you have to wear uh, face coverings and, and all that happy stuff. So uh, yeah, you know it's it's mandatory now, and uh, it's it's mandatory that we have to wear face coverings and stuff like that at least face coverings while we're working so uh, but we're slowly opening up more and more people are coming out definitely I can see more people coming out and that's good uh, unless you folks have seen Las Vegas the mayor of Las Vegas she just wants everything opening up no consequences she basically even said I don't I don't I don't know how we're gonna figure things out. That's not my job to figure things out. That's their job. I just want the city, casinos, restaurants, and gambling open. Okay, well. Good luck for re-election. All right, my friends, I'm gonna let you go here and I will upload this when I get home. I work today, this afternoon, and I close tonight, so I'll be home kinda of late tonight. But I will upload. And then I got to turn around and come back in at 8 o'clock in the morning till tomorrow afternoon. So, yeah. I think I'm working for the next five or six days straight. I think. I think I'm not off until Thursday again. Something like that. Anyway. All right. You folks take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. But always take care of yourselves first. Love one another. Trust one another. Be kind to each other. Help one another. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment. Pull down your pants and slide on that ice. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me, about us, what's going on. And uh, uh, just crap. Alvarez Park. It's beautiful out here. There's a slight breeze. There's Target. I don't know, maybe five, ten miles. That's a beautiful day. It's really, it's really gorgeous. And we're going to be climbing up to like, I think in the mid-90s, Friday and Saturday. And then for the rest of the week, we're going to kind of taper off into the low to mid-80s. But yes, it's summertime. This is what I like to eat. Yay! All right, my friends. Comments, good or bad. Um... Please leave and email comments. Please. There's a couple that I still got to get to. Oh, I still got to get to. All right, my friends. I love you all. Take care. Stay safe. Be smart. And be nice out there when you go, go shopping. Be nice and considerate to the retailers or the cashiers, people out on the sales floor. We're just as freaked out as you are. So uh, maybe a little more so, but please just... Be patient and kind. I love you all, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.